welcome to this video in this video uh, i will be explaining to make a simple python automation project using selenium uh, selenium is a f open source testing framework used for automating the tests carried out on web browsers in this video i will be making uh, a project to automate the process of downloading youtube videos uh, so for that i will be using a website uh, called snapia so in this website you can just uh, using the link of the video you want to download uh, you can just uh, get the audio file or the video file of that video uh, so for this pro project you need to have python 3 and selenium installed in your device uh, second is you need to download a suitable driver for your browser make sure you download the uh, correct version of driver uh, for your browser you can just check the version of your browser from about section so mine is 83 point something so let's jump into the code so here i have imported uh, the web drivers from selenium i have declared a variable driver uh, in which i have given the path of the driver uh, i have stored in my device I have downloaded uh, which I have downloaded uh, so driver dot get snapia dot com so basically this line uh, just opens the browser and uh, go to the go to this page goes to this page and uh, then uh, the I have given time dot sleep for five seconds uh, so for that uh, you must import time uh, so this will this will just wait uh, for uh, some time before uh, you know uh, going for the next step it will just wait for some time so for that I have used time dot sleep uh, in the variable link I have showed the link of the video I want to download uh, then is uh, then I have just declared a variable search in which I have declared uh, I have written driver dot find find element by x path. Uh, so what is x path and how you can get it is uh, so just go to the inspect page and click over here and then come to this so xpath is just the uh, you can say like it is the location it uh, of the element or whatever like i want to uh, find the location of this search box so for uh, xpath using xpath i can find the location of the uh, of this search box in this page so after clicking on it you can see that uh, this line has uh, highlighted so just go and copy the full x path and then just paste it so i have just pasted that x path over here and then uh, search dot send key link keys link so what this line will do is this will just paste the link this uh, this will just paste this link in the search box mm, you can see that it will just paste the link in this search box so, uh, but for this you need to import the keys 
so I have imported it here uh, I imported the keys and here then uh, it says search dot send keys keys dot return so what this line does is it just presses the enter key for me uh, so th this whole thing says just uh, this whole thing will just go uh, search the search box uh, and then copy the link in the search box and just and then just uh, hit enter then I have used this exceptional case for using this I you should just you know import expected conditions so here I have used try and accept so what this thing does is just you know I uh, you can this thing will copy paste the whole uh, thing inside them after going to this page it after hitting enter and going to this page uh, so what this thing uh, what this does is uh, wait that uh, it goes to this location which is this this whole box so you can see that this whole thing is inside a div uh, and that div has is highlighted over here so I have just copied the X path of this div uh, and stored it inside the main variable uh, so what this does is uh, it will just wait for 10 seconds and it will search for the text inside that main uh, and you can just print the text uh, using that Uh, second uh, is accept if the, uh, this doesn't work then you know you can just uh, so what this does is uh, it just clicks uh, a download button of download button of this it will just click the download button uh, so in this site if you are using this site for downloading uh, the download the click to the download button is uh, captured by the script uh, so if you do the direct do it directly uh, using this thing uh, this method you will you can you know you will not get any result uh, because because the script because the, uh, in normal button click uh, the script is executed instead of anchor uh, on button so for that I have just done this so I have not you know finalized this uh, so what this does is, is just uh, I have defined a function over here which says uh, the required file has been downloaded uh, by going into the download section of the chrome and it will just if it if the file has been downloaded it will get the location of that file uh, uh, so let's run the code and see what happens So now it should type the uh, paste the link in the search box. So it has pasted the link and searched the video.
okay let me it's full screen now it has started downloading as you can see over here it has started downloading the video now you should go to chrome downloads and should get the uh, location of the file that is downloaded it has gone to chrome uh, so as you can see it has printed the location so it is showing the it has it is downloaded in downloads so let's go to downloads and check so as you can see it has been downloaded okay. so you can play with this code you can do many things i have done some more uh, modifications in this code uh, i can just show you over here i have one more uh, this is just a modified version more modified version of that simple code uh, so let me show you by running it so i i take the link from the user in this here only so video copy the link and give the link here so it will ask me for audio file or video file i will select the audio file i will say okay let's let me delete it first so let me okay i will choose for second one so let's see so the whole working of this code is same just i have given some uh, I have, uh, more options to the user uh, and that is just a basic of python i uh, use some uh, switch cases and if else and all so you can do that by your own you can get the github link of, for this code in the description if you have any suggestions or any doubts you can just comment down below if you like the video just hit the like button thank you mm -hmm.